It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chising secretary clearly isn't an ordinary person. It's so frustrating. Huh. You're just... <laughs> Y'all gossiping over there? Aren't you Ningguang's servants? How come you're here? <clears throat> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. <sighs> Have you seen Miss Ganyu, Traveler? Yeah, she's in my inventory. It has been several days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. She's the general secretary of the Liyue Qixing. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Why did she go? Ah, even though the Qixing have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Julian Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibilities by now, but she's disappeared without a trace. Oh no. Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. Who can blame her after working so hard? Yeah, if I was being overworked, doing overtime 24-7, I would take a couple detours too. I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person in all of Liyue. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty at Yuehai Pavilion saying, There is still so much to do. <laughs> but she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? <sighs> it's because of this absurd workload of hers. Huh? <sighs> When we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. We couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to doing. <laughs> Shouldn't you get back to work? <laughs> you've got time to lean. You've got time to clean, buddy. Speaking of Julian Karst, Traveler, I've heard that you can go in and out of there as you please. Of course. We've been there lots of times. Yep. Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Julian Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. <laughs> Lives are at stake here. What is that? What's happening over there? <laughs> are those her guards? What's up, Ganyu? You good? We're like the same height. Look at us. <laughs> Aw. Ganyu, here you are. You two. I did not expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Oh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Left the human world? Wait, she quitting? Are you good? Huh? You don't want to be the chasing secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back! That's why you're here? You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. Oh no. The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Liyue, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. What? I delivered the letter and came back to Liyue Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Huh? Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Chi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. Nobody wants to get rid of you. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Hey, Cloud Retainer, can you, uh, can you talk this girl out of, you know, running away, please? One merely jests. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. Chat out the old times. <sighs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. <laughs> she talks to herself. She's just like me. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. 
One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. <laughs> I'm a bit curious. Oh, Paimon wants to hear it. Uh. <laughs> Little Gon you loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. Oh. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. <laughs> she was elsewise loath to sleep. <laughs> Plump she was back then. Why, when she Wait. stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. You trying to tell me Gani was fat? <laughs> she was a fat baby. <laughs> The day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. Oh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. Aww. Cloud retainer? <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. <laughs> what training? Where is she going? Come back. I think you upset Ganyu. <laughs> <laughs> ah, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. And you did the exact opposite. Impressive. <laughs> It'd be like that. But returning to Ganyu, most gladdened one is of your arrival. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Jueyun Karst shall not be good for her. Mm -hmm. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Sure. Most benevolent among all Adepti are the Chilin. Mm -hmm. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. Wow. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of Adepti in Jueyun Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. One noticed her loneliness, and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But, just then, she said thus. Liyue Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of people in Liyue, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong Aww. in the human world. Aww. So she pretty much feels lonely because she's basically the only half-human in there. Yeah, that's understandable why she feels this way. Alone, she will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. I'll do my best. Anyways, what's that training gun you was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her adeptus side since returning to Zhuoyun Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Aozong right now, preparing for the trial. Oh boy. I think it's perfectly understandable for Ganyu to feel that way, being literally the only half-human out here. So here you are, Ganyu. Why did you come here? I'd like to try this Adeptus training. Why not? Yeah, let's try oh, is it. Is that so? You really are interested in the ways of Adepti. This trial was prepared by Cloud Retainer. Its goal is to help me feel like an Adeptus again. The training is much to her signature style. I hope it won't make it seem like she is too unaware of the abilities of others. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult? No, I'm aware of your strength, Traveler. The power hidden within you is not inferior to mine. If you're ready, we shall begin the training. She said we are strong as an Adeptus. That's crazy. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Watch this. Watch this. This is easy. Look at this. I'm speed running through this. Oh, no! <laughs> no! I messed up the timing! Aww. I'm sorry, God. You, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, let's not mess up this time. I need to feel like an Adeptus. Oh, no! No, come on! There we go. There we go. <laughs> We've completed the task. What do you think? Perhaps I'd make a good Adeptus. I agree. You possess many qualities similar to those of Adepti, despite having none of their blood. Ooh, that's a good compliment. Ganyu, what were you planning to do once your training was over? The training's not over yet. 
The part prepared by Cloud Retainer is only the first trial. Huh? So there are more trials prepared by other Adepti? Is Mountain Shaper next? No. The only Adeptus who can unlock my true potential is... Who is it? <laughs> Conqueror of Demons. Oh! Zhao? So it's Xiao! That cold-hearted loner? How come he's prepared a trial for you? Uh, Pyman, you about to get a whole army of Zhao lovers on your ass for saying that. <laughs> I found him unapproachable at first, too. But I believe that being able to face him is an important part of my homecoming. He's already waiting for me. Come along if you're interested. Of course we are! Let's go! You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. Damn. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. Wow. That's all. Wow, okay. Xiao is such a strict teacher. Oh, you make Gan you sad. Come on, Xiao. You're neither an adeptus nor a human. Always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. That's a very ominous ball. Oh yeah, this is gonna be very interesting to do. Good thing her burst literally does a crap ton of damage. So we're fine. Access denied. Look at her burst. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's a five star, right? Yeah, her burst is insane. The fact that I don't even have to look at people <laughs> to actually hit them. Whoa! <laughs> I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. <laughs> you could be nicer when sharing them. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> have to do what? <sighs> Another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. <laughs> I think you just don't want to talk to people. What you doing here, buddy? Oh, oh heavens! Blessed be Rex Lapis. I finally come upon the Adepti. Great! <laughs> My name's Sin Chung. <laughs> I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. Oh, goodness. That's not how it works, buddy. Oh, so it's a pilgrim. I am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted. It uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Dear pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work mm -hmm. and earnest living. Mm-hmm, true. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Yep, yep. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. True. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who poses an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Ugh, how dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the adepti yourself. Uh Technically, yeah, you got me there, but still. Eh, enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real adeptus or not. You're useless. I'm leaving. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh... That's all right, Ganyu. He was just going to use you for money. Ganyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. It's not his behavior. The things he said. 
He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an Adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... <sighs> Come back to Leeway Harbor with us. But I'm unwelcome in Leoa Harbor. As an Adeptus, I... Can you believe a human like me just this once? It's true! Just believe us! Uh... Alright. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. We're finally back! Uh, I'm still... Come on, Ganyu! We're almost there! You don't want to turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. You want to swim? Let's go for a walk in the port. Okay, I thought we were going to have to swim there. Uh, hello? Game? Hello? Game? Oh, uh, that's why my internet disconnected. That is wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> the sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Aren't you? You didn't leave Leoa for that long. Why do you look so moved? <coughs> well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Understandable. Huh. That's true. Ganyu seemed to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. <laughs> oh, God. It put me in a certain mood. Similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it huh? little Miss Ganyu? Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. Who is this man? Th this old man called her Little Miss Ganyu. <laughs> little Miss Ganyu. Uh, please don't also start calling me that. <laughs> Sorry. Allow me to introduce Uncle Tian. He is... That's all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo after all, and... I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tian is a member of the Leo Chising. The Tianshu. Wait, he's the Tianshu? What? This grandpa is a member of the Chising? The same rank as Ningguan? <laughs> oh my god. Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. How come we've never seen this man before until now? Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. <laughs> oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me little Miss Ganyu. <laughs> oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? <laughs> I was just fulfilling my duties as the Chi Sing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Talking about secretaries, oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu. I believe you know my daughter, Huixin? Hmm. She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Uh oh. Yes, she works at Yuahai Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? I don't know myself, really. Uh, she's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at Yuahai Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in my job description. Alright. She's back in character. Just like that, huh? 